Hello, I'm Pete the Scientist, and today I'm going to show you how to add the lighting in your map into S2FM. So you may have noticed sometimes that when you bring a character into the map uh, directly after loading the map, that the lighting can be kind of weird. Here the sun is clearly supposed to be going this way, but Alex here is casting no shadow and looks kind of dark as well for this area. So what we have to do to bring in the lighting of the map into S2FM so our S2FM characters get lit up, we have to record the game basically. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to load the map that you're going to uh, need the lighting from in uh, Source 2. Since this is a custom map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load Hammer. Here's my map. Now what I'm going to do is go to map, load map in engine. Now my character is in the map. What I need to do is record the gameplay. And then when I record the gameplay, it will bring the lighting and all the props and what's happening in the game into S2FM. And so that everything will be lit correctly. And if you want to also like record the game for like a trailer, you can also do that so you can like edit things in post and also render it out in like higher quality. Real quick, if you do want to load a map that's in the game already, all you have to do is open the console by uh, pushing the tilde key on your keyboard and then just type map space and then you'll be able to play uh, the maps in the game. And of course, when you're done with your map, just type disconnect in the console and you can close the game. Before you record uh, the game, it's good to know that in the motion editor, which is this button here, that you can select the area that you're going to uh, apply the recording to basically. So right now by default, it selects the whole timeline. But I found that if I actually have lots of shots in the same S2FM, and if it's selecting the whole thing, it'll like mess up the lighting of all the other shots. Um, if I do have like stuff set up already because the tie line whole thing. So what you want to do What you want to do is grab the edge and bring it into the part that you just want to record Your game to for like that specific shot So that way it doesn't uh, affect any other parts of your S2FM In my case, it doesn't matter, but it's good to know if you have lots of shots now we have our game opened at the same time as S2FM is open. We're going to hit this recording button, which is to the left of the play button. Here you can change what's going to be recorded exactly. These two checkboxes here, skip entities and skip entities not visible from camera position, are for if you have a big map and you only need, you know, part of the map in for a shot, then you can check the skip entities and it basically just won't be there and it'll uh, run better in S2FM. And so you just would put your camera where you want about where your camera in S2FM is going to be in the game and then it will only record what's in your view. Then to record the game, you just click record and now it is recording. Actually, now it is recording after it makes like a beeping noise about three times. So now it's actually recording the lighting and it would record any props and gameplay, anything that's happening in the game at the moment. Then we can go back up here and click the recording button again to stop recording. Now, as you can see, the lighting instantly changed and it looks much different than it did before. We can also see my player's camera and sounds are now in the game but i had another camera set up so we want to actually use the other camera not this camera so to switch back to the other camera we're going to go to like our little camera selector and we'll go like the camera 2 which was the camera we were using switch back to my workspace camera so this is the camera i actually want to use now there is a player camera here and you can use it if you want to you can use that for a trailer but since I want to use this camera we're just going to uh, select this one and use this one 
Now, if you do want to bring in something that's like in the map, like the player camera into the animation set editor, so you can like start changing things about it. What you have to do is right click here, create animation sets for existing elements. And then this is the player's camera here and it would have all the, like the other props in the maps and then you'd select that and then you can push OK or the light and then you'll be able to edit it in the animation set editor or just then you'd be able to edit it in here. So now our lighting should be working. Let's bring Alex in again. New model, Alex. Let's bring Alex out of the wall here. And as you can see, Alex actually has a shadow now. Because we brought the lighting and everything that's happening in the game into uh, S2FM. So now when you bring in characters and other props in S2FM, they'll actually have a shadow and uh, be lit properly. I did just notice because I was walking around in the game that even though I'm using this camera and not the player's camera, in STFM that the walking noises are still there. So what I do for my own animations is that when I like start recording, I just already have placed my character where I want my character to be and then I just don't move so I don't end up accidentally getting that in the audio in STFM if I want to like add the music in through uh, STFM instead of like doing the audio in post. So that's how you put the lighting in your map into STFM to light your characters and stuff correctly. Like the video, if you wanna see more tutorials, let me know in the comments if there's any other tutorials you would like me to make. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.